Tonight, the city of Columbia is considering adding properties now to their historic landmarks list. Cassidy Byer visited with the owner of one of those properties a short time ago. I'm honored to even have his building, to be honest with you. It's, it's an honor for me to be sitting in this place where it all started for me and being the owner of it, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing to me. Three years ago, Roger Brasley purchased a building to start his beauty salon, Beauty Art by Roy. And when I did the grand opening, a lot of people from the community, yeah, you know, we used to go there as a child. And a lot of the people that lived up in North, Col North Columbia, which is where I grew up on Fairfield Road, all of those people in that community came here as children to be seen by the doctor. The building dates back to 1965, and according to Brasley, it was a doctor's office his mother would regularly visit for appointments. Dr. Allen used to uh, use his building as his doctor's office, and he was a white doctor that was here in Columbia. And he would actually uh, be one of the only doctors that would see blacks. It was also a building where his mother found out news that changed her life. This was the building that she found out she was pregnant in with me. But what makes this building even more significant, according to Brasley, is the segregational aspect that still, to this day, remain in the building. The back entrance, there was a colored entrance in this building. And it was on this hallway here, the back hallway. And I had literally left the colored waiting room as is. The paneling that's on the wall, the split door, I left it all and I turned it into an actual office but the waiting room is still there. Upon purchasing the building, Brasley was unaware of the historical significance the building had on his community. The reason why Brasley has requested the city of Columbia give the building historical landmark status. It was a full circle moment. It was a beautiful moment. And I had no idea of any of this until once, I, once the purchase and the buying was done, the closing of the building, my mom came and she was like, Roy, you know that that's the building that I used to go to when I was a child. Reporting from Columbia, Cassidy Byer, News 19, WLTX. It's going to be a public meeting before the City of Columbia Design and Development Review Commission is happening Thursday afternoon at 4 o'clock.